Good morning, my name is Shannon Sullivan. I'm an international relations and Spanish major, class of 2020, and today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my experience at Rollins College. The reason I ultimately chose to pursue a major in international relations was just because I couldn't make up my mind and I felt like international relations was a little bit of everything that I found interesting. I had history, culture, political science, um, economics, a little bit of anthropology in there and combine that all together and you get IR, which I thought was really cool. One of the things that I love about Rollins is how interdisciplinary the liberal arts education is. So even though I'm an IR and Spanish major, I've taken classes, you know, like the physics of light, Middle East culture and film. I've taken a sailing class, a scuba diving class. I'm now scuba dive certified. So you really, even though you are a certain major, you get to just experience a variety of different disciplines. One of my favorite classes that I've taken um, while at Rollins was called Spanish theater. And in that class, we actually had to perform a play in Spanish which was so hard, but it it really, I mean, once you memorize lines in a different language, having a normal conversation seems a lot easier. Um, and at one point in the play, we messed up, so we had to improvise lines in Spanish, which is a whole different thing. So if you're trying to learn a different language, try performing a play in that language and then have a conversation because it'll seem like a piece of cake. A big part of my college career was actually studying abroad. I went to Spain twice, the first time to Oviedo and the second time to Madrid. I was a site leader for the summer program Verano Español, which is a six week program. I learned a lot on those study abroad programs. I not only got better at Spanish and cross-cultural communication, but I learned how important it is to keep an open mind, um, remain flexible, and it also gave me a newfound sense of confidence and independence that I really am grateful for. Another big aspect to my college career was getting involved with on-campus activities and organizations. And I think two of the organizations that had the biggest impact on me um, were ResLife and the Student Support Foundation. So for my experience with ResLife, I was an RA my junior year in Liz Hall. Go Liz Hall. And that taught me responsibility because you're not only responsible for your own well-being, but you're responsible for the well-being of your entire hall and all of the residents in your hall, which can seem a little overwhelming, but you have you know, a support team, you have your co-RAs, you have your hall directors, my team was amazing. But it's, it's a big workload and you learn time management, responsibility, accountability, flexibility, and it's just an experience that I'm really grateful to have had. As for the Student Support Foundation, or SSF, it's an organization that provides emergency grants of up to $200 to students in need. I was a part of SSF for years, starting my freshman year, um, and I was president last year. And it's just such an important organization that no one really knows about. So I'm just gonna take a second here. If you're a Rollins student and you would like to make a difference in your community, consider joining SSF. Or if you're a Rollins student in need of financial aid, especially during these hard times, you can apply. You just go to the Rollins website and type in SSF and the application will pop up. So at Rollins, you also develop really close relationships with your professors, which is great. I still have friendships with some of my Spanish professors and my IR professors, especially Professor um, Alberto Prieto Calixto and Professora Tomé. They provide a lot of guidance and mentorship for me, which I really appreciated. And one professor in particular who acted as a mentor throughout my four years at college was actually Dr. J, and she's in charge of external scholarships. And she, throughout my four years, she always pushed me to apply to scholarships, even if I didn't think I was qualified. You know, she always pushed me to believe in myself, believe in my own capabilities, and it actually worked out. I got a Fulbright scholarship um, to teach English in Colombia next year. So that's hopefully what I will be doing in the future. So thank you, Dr. J. I am so grateful for my Rollins experience. It's really helped me become a more knowledgeable and confident person. So thank you all for listening. Again, my name is Shannon Sullivan. Go Tars.